Butterfly is a stroke that really focuses on power, momentum, and rhythm. This is a really common stroke that people struggle with because it relies so much on timing and rhythm. So I want to walk you through a couple of principles that really have helped me to swim a really comfortable and efficient butterfly. So let's focus on first where you enter the water. It's so important to have your arms enter the water directly in front of your shoulders as high as you can in the water. Now, when we're talking about butterfly, it's so important to always keep in mind that your elbows should always be higher than your wrists. If at any point your elbows drop underneath the level of your wrist, that's when you're going to notice you're not getting any distance per stroke. You're not getting any catch and power in the water. So really focus on as your arms enter the water, having really high elbows, good strength in your wrists, keeping those fingers tightly together because we don't want to have them open and allow all that water to flow through. So arms entering the water directly in front of our shoulders, arms nice and extended, and we're really going to focus on that initial part of the catch. And this is so important. You really want to keep your elbows nice and high, holding good water in the wrists and the hands and the forearms, pulling down with so much power. I don't think there's any right or wrong when it comes to doing a slight movement with the wrist, a small S movement, or just going straight back down with power. You'll notice a couple of swimmers do a couple of different techniques. But what is really important is that you always keep your wrists and your arms directly underneath your body. You don't want your arms to be going too far away from your body out to the side because then you're not going to have the same amount of power in those shoulders. And that is really, really important. So keep your arms directly in line with your body. As your arms come underneath your stomach, you really want to flick back with power, get as much power power out of those triceps as you can, making sure the pinky fingers are the ones that come out of the water first, and then really keep your arms as straight as possible as you come through the recovery over the top of the water so that they enter directly in front of you again, right above your shoulders. So now that we've spoken about the arms, let's focus now on the breathing. And I know I'm not alone in talking about how hard it is sometimes to get enough air in on the breath when you're doing butterfly. So when it comes to breathing and timing, everyone has a slightly different preference. Some people breathe every stroke. I like to breathe every two strokes. So really, you've got to play around with what feels best for you and what helps you keep that momentum and speed up. I found that when I breathed every stroke, it just really affected my momentum. So breathing every two helped me feel a lot more flow and a lot more rhythm in the water. Now, when it comes to the timing of the breath, this is really what's going to make and break your whole butterfly stroke. You could have a lot of power in your legs and have a really great catch and arm pull with the butterfly. But if you mistime the breath, that's really, really going to impact your whole butterfly and make it so much harder for you. When it comes to butterfly, the legs are so important. This is where you're going to get all your power and strength. And so it's really important that we, one, develop the power in your legs so it gives you that momentum and really helps support your arms. But also, in my opinion, this is where you're going to really notice a difference in your times and the ease of your stroke when you build up this power in your legs. So first of all, one of the things I really want us to focus on is when it comes to butterfly kick, we all think about the down kick, but not all of us think about the up kick. So as we kick down, we're really going to engage our lower abs and our quads to kick down with power. But then we really want to engage the hamstrings and the calves as we pull up. So when we get that real momentum with a kick down and a kick up, that's where we're going to see good momentum. It's really going to help your arms and support your arms through the butterfly stroke. And I think the thing that's really important when it comes to butterfly kick is, of course, this is focusing on the legs, but so much of your power and movement is going to come from those lower abs, but also using your upper back and your thoracic to really start worming through the stroke. And that's really important. So one of my favorite ways to work on the legs is by doing a couple of drills. One of my favorite ones is this one you'll see me doing here, where I've got one arm out in front and one arm down by my side. Instead of kicking up and down, we're going to be kicking side to side, almost really worming through the water. And when we do this drill, you're really going to notice those lower abs lock on. It's also going to feel quite hard to balance in the water. This is why the abs have to do so, so much work. So to support you in this drill, you feel free to put on some fins or some flippers. That's really going to help you just to feel the legs and feel the movement through the water. 
When we're on our side like this, we're really going to notice the upper body. And if you look at me doing this drill in the water, you'll notice how much my upper thoracics, my lower back, my hips, they're all moving in alignment with this worm shape. The only thing I'm really trying to keep stable is my head and my arms. Those things are just going to be locked onto my body and really keeping stillness in the water. So have a go at this drill on the side. I think it's really, really going to benefit you. Again, put fins on if you think that's going to support you. It's always good to use some equipment to try out a couple of different drills. Another way to really work on your butterfly kick is, of course, using some form of kickboard. I really like using this kick pull board. It's a little bit lighter. It's not going to be as buoyant in the water and therefore I feel like really helps me to engage my abs and my upper back and really get that movement that's going to be more common to the butterfly stroke. Now with the kickboard and using this drill, of course you can do this at your own pace. I would really encourage you to try this at varying speeds. So start off nice and slow, but I think you'll actually find it to be more comfortable and easy if you pick up the pace just a little bit. As soon as you get that real power in your legs, you'll notice your hips lifting up to the surface of the water. You'll feel really good momentum and strength in the legs and that's really, really going to support the butterfly arms. So go ahead and try both of these drills. They're really going to help you build up the strength, power and endurance in your legs. And that's really going to support your arms in the butterfly stroke.